Hello at home scientists, my name is Anna and we are live here from the Arizona Science Center today. We are going to be making some lava lamps. If you hear some noise behind me, it's because we are live at the Science Center so we do have visitors having fun all around me. So if you hear some noise in the background, that is why. All right, we'll get started. Today, we will be making lava lamps. And the cool thing about this experiment is you probably have most of these supplies already in your house. Let's go over our supplies that we need before we get started. So I have some water, I have some vegetable oil, some food coloring, Alka-Seltzer, and any container will do, whether it's a plastic water bottle or a glass jar, something taller will work a lot better than something smaller, just so we can see our lava lamp at the end. And we are always trying to reduce, reuse, recycle here at the Science Center, so this is a good way to repurpose something that you might be throwing out or recycling. Like all scientists performing experiments, we will be making observations about what we are doing today. Now remember, observations aren't only made with our eyes, but we can use our other senses as well. We can make observations with our ears and also our sense of touch today, but we won't be tasting our experiments today. Before we get started, uh, the type of science that we're going to be doing today is chemistry. Now, what is chemistry, some of you might be wondering. At the most basic level, chemistry is the science of mixing things together and sometimes observing chemical reactions that happen when we mix things together. As you may or may not know, there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gases. So anything that we will be mixing together in chemistry is going to fall into one of those three categories. Today we will be working with mostly liquids. First step, we will be adding our vegetable oil into our container. And we want this to be about half full with our oil. All right, that looks pretty good. Next, we will be adding our water. But before we do, let's make some predictions about what might happen. Do we think the liquids will mix? Or do we think they're gonna stay separate? Additionally, let's consider the density of our different objects. Do we think the water will stay on top if the liquids don't mix? Or do we think it's gonna stay at the bottom? All right, let's add our water. What are we observing while we add our water? And this might take a minute or two to settle out before we finish our predictions. So it looks like our two liquids didn't mix. And it seems like the oil is less dense than the water because it's staying towards the top of the jar and our water is towards the bottom. Next, we will be adding our food coloring. Any food coloring will work. Um, I happen to have liquid. If you also have a liquid food dye at home, let's pause again and make some predictions. Do we think the food dye will be the least dense and stay at the top of the container? Or do we think it might be the most dense and sink all the way to the bottom? All right, let's add our food dye. Couple drops in. Let's see, what are we observing with our food dye? Seems to be slowly sinking down. So it's more dense than the oil, but maybe not as dense as the water. It seems to be kind of settling right at the bottom of the oil. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And as you can see, I do have some food dye that got heavy enough that it broke through the oil and has now mixed with our water. As we can see, our oil and water didn't mix, and this is something that scientists call hydrophobic, meaning it doesn't mix well with water. And some of our food dye did make it to the water. That is what we would call hydrophilic, meaning that it does mix well with water. When we mix two liquids together in chemistry, we call that a solution. Lastly, we're going to be adding our Alka-Seltzer, which will make our lava lamp come to life. I'm gonna take just one tablet, should be enough, and I'm gonna break it into a couple pieces. All right, it's time to add our Alka-Seltzer and see our lava lamp come to life. All right, thanks for joining me today for some at-home science. For more activities like this, visit azscience.org. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun, and I hope you learned something along the way.